Hello and welcome back to Nest Generation. Today we've got a, another black box episode for you guys. Uh, we're going back and taking a look at Balloon Fight, a uh, pretty fun game that is uh, very similar to Joust and uh, started off as an arcade game in 1984 and uh, this one came out in 1986. So let's jump right in. Two-player balloon fight. Okay. So, the oh. Oh. so yeah. Again, we've got the the. PVP. Yeah. So, the idea, of course, is that you're flapping to go upwards. Um, no, bro. That's and if you. Oh, sorry. If you lose one of your balloons, then you have a harder time flapping upwards. Yay! Oh, looks, okay, so your balloon carries through to the next level. So. Oh, oh man, that was not nice. Oh, I'm not doing And then well. after you get the guys on the air, you want to get. Go back I and have to go back and get them. So otherwise they will uh turn green. Yeah. Okay man. It has interesting momentum things. Um it kinda reminds me of ice climbers in that way, I guess. Sort of. I like the I feel like the um controls are a lot better on this one. Yeah. Though. It doesn't it doesn't no, feel like, like it feels natural. Right. I would sort of expect well, obviously you couldn't <laughs> flap around with balloons this quickly, but... Yeah, it's like a bonus round where the balloons come out. You get the left too. And then watch out at some point the uh, clouds start shooting lightning. Oh, yay. Okay, man. Man, buddy, we are not friends. No bouncy. No, bro, that was so not nice. Another bonus. There's momentum going on. Yeah, I definitely like the uh, the controls in this. Yeah. A lot better than uh, ice climbers. Yeah. And the momentum feels like a good balance between, like you wouldn't want it super tight control, right? Or else it would be too easy to just like target right in on things, right? Whereas uh, having that little bit of momentum makes it so you really have to sort of anticipate when you're gonna want to make a turn. What is that? It's Doesn't look good. Oh, is that from Smash Brothers? I mean, did it... The spinny thing. I thought I remembered seeing something like a, a power up or something that comes in. Oh my goodness. Maybe um, I'm surprised, honestly. Because, like, they're playing stuff from the NES era. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I am very close to that. It's kind of sad. Take it easy. Ooh, holy man. You have a nice score. Yeah, I think you 
got an early lead on the first level. They're supposed to be evenly balanced. I, they've always been evenly balanced. Like if you look at these tag kids, ten. Okay, well this time it wasn't. And I never got any from your side. Still in the lead, but I do have less points. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Oh. There's some. Not Oh no! Okay, I'm dead. I don't know if there's any sort of continue or anything where you come back. Probably not. So you're probably just gone until I die. I think I'm on... is the last... No. No, okay, so I've got two deaths. Yeah. The death after this one. It's funny, like, growing up, I think I was oh. already... I got my NES like a little bit past like the original arcade games. So a lot of these like basically like all the game even Bobble Bobble a little bit, although I did play that. But a lot of the like single screen arcade games like didn't appeal to me growing up for whatever reason. And I think it was just because they seemed like simplistic or something. Yeah. So I never really delved into them. Um, but a lot of these I've been enjoying more. It's actually interesting almost, now that I think about it, like the, um, how like mobile gaming kind of came back, or started with, you know, like the real simple, right. um, that's kind of, uh, there we go. Um, Ooh. yeah, that, that, was, that was super close. Um, but you know, mobile games started with kind of like a lot of those like super simple Right, and I mean, I feel like some of them still are. And they're, they're you know, at least some were pretty fun. And there's a lot of terrible <laughs> mobile games, too. Yeah. But, um... I think I always had that idea that games had to be, like, deep and complex to be fun. Right. Um, whereas you go back for things like Pac-Man or, you know... Yeah. Um, can really see fun in those, or even like Frogger, or, or I did play, um, uh, my grandparents had the Odyssey, I don't know if I ever showed you those games, I don't have the oh. Odyssey, but um, that was kind of like the only like older console I had an experience with playing on that, or Odyssey 2 I think it was. since I played Joust. Have you played oh, Joust? Oh, I think I killed you, I'm sorry. It's alright. Have you played Joust before? It's I like this, know. but you're on like like a flying bird kind of thing. You're these knights. Okay. And you joust each other. And there's enemies. But it um I don't I'm trying to remember now if it has a concept of like the two hits like this one does with the balloons. Right. Another interesting thing is, um, I haven't noticed it so much in playing, but I was reading that in this one when you lose one of your balloons, you have less lift, okay. so it makes it harder to flap upwards. Okay. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier if you can quickly get them right at the beginning. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, it's 
Um, I like it how it's it's so simple. I think that's actually another thing that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it with um, kind of the simpler games. Um, I find like being older, I don't have time to play like a lot of like super in depth right. games. Like I got that the PS4 a while back, right? And like hardly have time to really get into a lot of those games. Yeah. Um, where there's just something about these really simple games that you could just sit down and play for 10 minutes and really get a good feel for it and yeah can uh, come back to over the years and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun thanks for joining us on this episode of nest generation where we took a look at balloon fight we hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it and uh, we've got some cool stuff coming up so stay tuned as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.